Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, guys. In today's video, we're going to be jumping into the brand new Forza Horizon 4 Update 29. This is the German month, which includes three brand new cars, the Xbox Series X optimization. As well, we have also been teased some very exciting upcoming updates for Forza Horizon 4. So sit back and relax. This is gonna be a cool one. However, two quick things before we do get into today's video. YouTube analytics actually tell me almost 50% of you guys who watch these videos aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you do wanna see any more of these brand new cars, the brand new updates, all of the customization, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see it here first. As well, in the AR12 store, we recently launched two brand new stickers, the Raid stickers and the AR12 holographic stickers for a limited time. They have free shipping anywhere in the world, so if you guys want to check them out for yourself, click the link in my description and don't wait too long. Without further ado, though, let's jump into these three brand new cars and let's start it off with this. This is the 1990 Porsche 911 reimagined by Singer DSL, which is available in the summer season by completing 50%. If you don't know what Singer does, basically they take the older Porsches and turn them into what they would be now. So they still look like the old Porsche 911s, but they have beefed up internals, absolutely insane interiors. And with that, they also come with one hell of a hefty price. If you want to purchase this 911 in real life, I am not even joking, it would cost you $1.8 million. For that price though, you do actually get some pretty cool stuff. It's mainly built out of carbon fiber and titanium. The engine in it is an old school Porsche 911 engine that's gone through a bunch of upgrades to bring it to about 500 horsepower out of a four liter engine. Now don't get me wrong, the Porsche 911 reimagined by Singer is a work of art, truly. It is something special. But if you're asking me personally, I could think of a thousand different ways I would prefer to spend 1.8 million bucks. However, luckily for us, we don't have to in Forza Horizon 4. Like I said, should be easy enough to unlock. Anyways though, I will also tease you guys that in Forza Horizon 4, there is actually some very interesting stuff going on with this car behind the scenes. We will come back to when this car officially comes out. So make sure to subscribe for that. Anyways, though, let's move it on to this thing. This is the big bad BMW 850CSI, which is super cool. We can unlock the BMW 850CSI by completing 50% in the autumn season. You might actually remember the 850CSI from some of your old favorite Forza games, like Forza Motorsport 4, 6, and 7 as well as Forza Horizon 2 and even Forza Street. Oh, I said your favorite for- Edit that out! Anyways though, for those of you who don't know, it features an insane 5.6 liter V12, which has some of the same stuff from the McLaren F1. There were only 1,500 BMW 850 CSIs ever made, so who knows how many of them still exist today. And I mean, best of all, it's got pop-up headlights, you know it, you love to see it. Anyways, it was actually an amazing car in Forza Horizon 2. It had some crazy customization, so look out for that in Forza Horizon 4 as well. Moving along from the 850 CSI over to the winter, where Forza has given us nothing. Thank you. If we move along to the spring, we can unlock this. One of the meanest cars ever created, the AMG Hammer, which you can unlock by completing an event in the spring. I don't know about you guys, but this has got to be one of the coolest cars ever added to Forza Horizon 4. I love this thing. You already know my love for these big cars like this, and this thing just takes it to another level. Back in the day when the Mercedes AMG Hammer was actually made, 
AMG wasn't actually a part of Mercedes. If you bought one of these things in real life, you first had to go to Mercedes, buy the normal car, then take it over to AMG to work their magic. And in real life, there are only 12 of these things. They are super rare. In real life, you also had the option of choosing the standard version of the car or the wide body version of the car. And I am happy to report in Forza Horizon 4, you can also do the same thing if you want to rock your AMG hammer with a wide body, you can. Anyways, it's got nearly 400 horsepower, does 0 to 60 in about 5 seconds, and I'm just gonna say, I'm really hoping for some insane engine swaps for this thing. I want to use this thing all the time because of how cool it is. Fingers crossed we get some good stuff. And with that, that's it for the brand new cars for Forza Horizon 4. Like I said, if you do want to see any of them, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see them first. That is not all for the next update for Forza Horizon 4. It also included the Xbox Series X optimization, where I've already gone in yesterday, actually, and made an entire video about it on my Xbox Series X. So if you haven't seen that just yet, Click the link in my description. I did actually want to call out one thing in particular that I did miss in my video yesterday when I made it. It's a tiny little quality of life feature, but honestly has way more impact than it might seem. Just if you play this game a lot. You know when you boot into the game, you see a Playground Games logo and then a Turn 10 logo. And then now on the Xbox Series X, there's also a Panic Button logo every time you boot up the game. Well, now on the Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and the PC, you can skip those. Thank you so much! It is time saved every single time you boot up the game. Seems super small, but honestly, very appreciated. Long story short, though, it features faster loading times, better graphics, and all around is just a better experience for you to play. Honestly, though, that's about it for, like, the core updates for Forza Horizon 4. There's no car packs included in update 29 there's also no bug fixes that we've specifically been told about we'll have to see what's included and with that that's it for the forza horizon 4 update 29 however we were also teased about some upcoming updates for horizon 4 the developers have actually come out and said they are committed to continuing the updates for forza horizon 4 and they have some very exciting ones coming before the end of the year. Take that as you will, but it's nearly been a year since we've had the Forza Horizon 4 Eliminator update, so who knows what they've got in the works. Maybe some upgrades coming to that. Maybe a new game mode altogether. A couple of weeks ago, I actually made an entire video about some possible Forza Horizon 4 expansion slash updates we could possibly see in the future, things that I would love to see, so Again, if you haven't seen that video, it'll be linked down below. And with that, that is everything for Forza Horizon 4 this month. Don't forget, though, next week we have the Hennessy Velociraptor 6x6. Subscribe if you want to see that. Don't forget to check out the new stickers. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!